Hey y'all, Russ here, our very TV. Let me get this camera situated. <laughs> okay, today we're gonna build a bed frame. Get this thing done. Last video we got the floor down, got it pretty tight. This is a tricky build here. I mean, this is a old uh, uh, passenger van. Excuse me. And got all the windows and that plastic molding. It's not like building out a cargo van. Let me go around here a sec. So I, I'm basically going to have to build this frame around all that uh, area on the side there with those cutouts, the air conditioner in the back, wheel well, all of it. And I don't want to remove any of that. All well, that's going to stay in. I'm just going to build around it. So the goal today is to get the frame built. I'm just going to make a skeleton frame for today because I have to get carpet and lay it down. So I'm going to build this frame, take it out, lay the carpet, and then put it back in. But I don't have the carpet today, so today I just want to get the frame built, and we'll go from there. Should have plenty of wood just for the frame, and I got the plywood over there ready to be cut. So let's get started. Okay, height. You see those bins there? They're going to go underneath. They're about almost 11 inches. The height of the bunk is going to be 16 inches. Because this stool here is 16, and I can sit on it without hitting my head on the roof. So we're going to call 16 inch good for the height. Okay, back here along this fender well. It stays pretty flat, and then it curves out. Here, I'll show you. Right there. That's where the curve starts coming out. So it stays flat and then it goes over top of this air conditioner here. So I'll have to notch the plywood once I get that built. Okay, see this seam here on the fender well? That's my start point right here. This is where I'm starting. And then I can put a brace down and then build outwards uh, towards the back. So I'm going to go ahead and get the first piece cut. I'm going to cut a couple 16 inch legs to attach to it. Let's see if we can't just get this thing put together. <laughs> Right, there it is. First piece. I'm going to attach a couple legs. I'm going to pre drill before I screw the wood to prevent it from splitting. Okay, there we go. First one in. I'm going to modify this once I get it all construction constructed and everything. Okay, the other leg I'm going to just guesstimate. About right in here somewhere. About there. That'll work. Go ahead and get this attached. Voila, there you go, there's the start of the bed frame. Leaves me a little space behind the front seat. And the 
This will actually be eight foot long. I added a temporary bracket. I'm doing this by myself so I can hold it together. Okay, here's the other rail. I'm actually using a two by three. I'm gonna attach two legs to it. And that's a full eight foot piece on this one. this scrap piece of plywood here I cut it 32 inches because that's the width of the bed I'm gonna use it for a brace This is temporary. I'm lining it up here. This just helps hold it together. Once again, I'm doing this by myself. I have no extra set of hands. So let me get this set here. Okay, there we go. At least it's upright. Now I can, I'll add a leg on the back, and now I can get the top cut. And this thing will start coming together a little bit. I know it looks a little funky. I'm going to get a leg on this thing. But it'll turn out once it all comes together. Okay, that's on there pretty good all right well I'm gonna get the top cut get it on there let me get the top cut and then I'll be back turn this camera off a minute okay that's the notch I gotta make to go around that air conditioner and it should fit on here. So let me uh, get that notched out and we'll see how it looks from here. Looking good. All right, there it is. Now I'm gonna add a bunch more bracing, but once again, I'm taking this out of here when I lay the carpet. I'm gonna reinforce it and then put it back in as one piece. But I'm real happy with this. The height's good, 16 inches. It's 8 foot long, which is way long. I'm only 5'11". So we should be in good shape. Here's a little look from the back. See where the notch is. Underneath there, I'm going to add some extra bracing. A few brackets, get it squared up. Looking good. That'll be solid. And look at all the storage underneath there, too. But once again, once I get the carpet down, this thing will just sit right on top of it and actually screw right down to the floor. Should be good and solid. I'm going to get a foam type cover, mattress, whatever you call it for it. Should be pretty comfy. So that's kind of it right there. I I won't get the carpet probably like today's Sunday, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I have to go down to Phoenix. I think Wednesday I'll probably get pick up the carpet. So I'm going to kind of call this good for now. I'm going to work on a uh, little uh, carrier up between the seats. Okay, when I put the dash mount on to mount all the electronics, there's no glove box in this thing. I got these little plastic tubs. And I got this uh, little car caddy, this thing here. I've had it a long time. 
Anyway, I'm going to mount a little piece of wood to the bottom, and I'm going to put it together just like that. <laughs> so it'll be like a little glove box and a place to put drinks and fill it up full of junk like I always do. <laughs> so let's get going on this. This scrap piece of plywood, something to mount to. I'll screw the caddy onto that, and then we'll put that onto the lid. There you go, one custom. Homemade glove box with a car caddy next to the seat. I got some rubber mats. I'm going to cut one and put underneath there. That black matting right there. That way it won't slide around on that carpet. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll keep that little uh, plastic container from sliding so much. There you go. Good enough for me. <laughs> I like the height. Everything looks good. That's solid. Okay, this thing here, I keep asking, could ask what it is. It's a little radio, a little portable radio. I have the satellite uh, hooked to it. I need to mount it. I wasn't really sure. I thought of uh, up under the engine cover here. But that's going to be really hard to do. And I don't think that's a good place for it. So plan B is I'm going to, I don't know, maybe attach it to a little piece of this rubber matting that's left over and just kind of set it next to this little uh, plastic tub. And we'll go from there. Well, how's that? There's your do-it-yourself glove box, car caddy, and portable radio. <laughs> hey, it works. I don't care. As long as it don't roll around. And the battery box, that'll be coming up here in the near future. All in all, happy, great day. Got a lot accomplished today. I'll go get the carpet. That'll be coming up pretty much next. All right, this is Russ. I'm going to sign off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't get travel safe. Talk soon.